Article 4, as recommended by the Budget Committee, to um, school district meeting, to uh, budget hearing. I'll second it. Okay. Very quickly, you've done this. Uh, this is a history of supporting uh, Sacred Heart. Uh, we are supporting 41 students, K through 8. Uh, they are all Hampton children. Every year you ask, are there other districts that support Sacred Heart? I talked to the principal, and yes, Seabrook does uh, uh, support uh, their youngsters over at uh, Sacred Heart, but that is the only district. Mm -hmm. um, and. Again, these funds, uh, the $39,000 that they're requesting is based on enrollment. Uh, those funds are monitored. They can only be used for certain categories. One of them happens to be nursing services, technology. Right. And whenever they request the use of these funds, a purchase order is done. It goes, it is reviewed by either myself or Nathan, and then it goes into the system for their payment. So mm -hmm. there is a, uh, it, this isn't just a check that we give to Sacred Heart. They have to justify their expense. Mm -hmm. Early on in my budgeting experience, uh, I questioned this article because I was not used to uh, public funds supporting a parochial uh, school, but that is allowed under the RSAs mm -hmm. for functions that the parochial schools cannot provide that are provided to the public school students. So this is allowed by statute, and the article uh, has been on the warrant for quite a number of years. Sonny? Yeah. Um, first, I want to say, you know, if all the departments presented their budget the way you do, it would be, uh, I'd drama be a lot more. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I, this article, I say the same thing every year. You know, I have a problem using public money mm -hmm. for a private school. Mm -hmm. If it was a mosque, I said this last year, it wouldn't pass. You know what I mean? Yeah. I tell you what's wrong. You know, the, the, the state is passed so that businesses can contribute to Sacred Heart and get a tax credit. You know, I just feel, you know, it's Okay. They're using Tuck Field, even though they have a recreation area. They're the biggest users of Tuck Field. You know. Sacred Heart? Madam Chair, the, the, uh, the, the citizens' petition yes. has been received. The clerk has had a chance, the, town, the school district clerk, who's Excellent. also the town clerk, has reviewed it. It has 25 or more registered voters uh, signing. Excellent. So that is, that's, a, that's real at this point. We appreciate yeah. that. Okay, in favor of... I have another point to make. Please. They historically, somebody from Sacred Hearts come in the budget committee and please with the case. They will come in at the public hearing. Oh, right. No, they used to come to the meeting. Well, too. in the old days. Yes, they did. Right. In the old days, they did. You're right. But yeah. they, they avoid it because they don't want to be given a. No, 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 no. I don't know why they didn't come, but. Uh, they were here last year. Yeah. They'll come <laughs> in at the public <laughs> hearing. Okay, we, time is a wasting here. It will be at the public yes. hearing. I've in favor about. of. Recommending this to the public. What are you doing, Sonny? Well, Excuse me. Thank you. Who is the second here? I don't think we have uh, The second was, Mike was Mr. Pluff. No, no, no. no? Steve, Steve Henderson. Mr. Henderson, okay. All right, <laughs> try this again. In favor, so we can count. Okay. Um, Ms. Barnes is abstaining. And Mr. Pl um, yeah, Sonny, what are you doing? No, no. Voting and no. he's opposed. Okay. Now.